Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to talk to you about the minimum function within the SQL language. And so here I'm selecting from the employee table, and I want to find out who makes the least amount of money. And so what I do is I use what's called the minimum function, and it's just min parentheses and then salary. So I'm looking at the salary. So what's the minimum salary within this table? And so I hit execute and the minimum salary is 800. Well, what if I want to see who makes the minimum among the managers? I put a where clause where job equals manager, and now it's only gonna look at across the managers to see who makes the least amount. So let's go back to our table here, and look at the full table, and if we filter on just managers, then we see that of the managers, the smallest is the 2450. And so we could also combine managers and clerks and see who makes the least amount. We do that by using the OR clause, OR job equals clerk. And I put the wrong type of tick there. You can notice I don't have a red highlight as Management Studio does it. And so I'm going to filter down to just those two groups. And visually, we can see that 800 would be the least amount. But let's see if the minimum function does what we want it to do. And 800 is the correct answer. One last thing I'd like to try here is I want to look at the minimum commission. Now, null means you don't have a commission. So would that be a minimum? Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and so it ignores the nulls, but it does look at the zero. And I think the zero is bad data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter that zero. I want to see the minimum that's not zero. So I'm going to say where commission is not equal to zero. There we go. So the minimum commission is 300. Let's take a quick look at the table, make sure we believe that. Yep, so if we throw out the zero and all the nulls, 300 would be the minimum. So that's an introduction to the minimum function within the SQL language.